Good day, and welcome to the Asia Military News Channel. Our top story today focuses on South Korea, where significant strides have been made in the country's missile defense capabilities. According to the Korea Defense blog, South Korea has recently unveiled remarkable test footage showcasing the successful interception of a ballistic missile by its developmental LSAM missile defense system. On June 1, 2023, South Korea demonstrated the prowess of its LSAM system, which is designed as an upper-tier interceptor as part of the multi-layered Korean Air and Missile Defense KMAD, and network. Comprising three stages, including the final stage, kill vehicle, the LSAM system aims to neutralize incoming ballistic missiles operating at 50 to 60 kilometers. This expands South Korea's missile defense capabilities, specifically targeting the upper layer of a ballistic missile's terminal phase. In the recently released test footage, we witnessed the LSAM kill vehicle successfully engaging a Korean ballistic aerial target system, KBATS, in its terminal phase. This remarkable achievement marks the third successful interception out of four tests carried out by the LSAM system, demonstrating its effectiveness in defending against ballistic missile threats. The KMAD network, which incorporates the US Origin MIM-104 Patriot PAC-3 and the indigenous Cheonggung-2 missile defense systems, is pivotal in South Korea's comprehensive defense strategy. The Patriot PAC-3 and Cheonggung-2 systems are specifically designed to intercept missiles operating at altitudes of 40 kilometers and below. Furthermore, the US Army operates the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, a battery in Korea, providing an additional layer of defense against missiles at altitudes ranging from 40 to 150 kilometers. The LSAM Missile Defense System, under development by South Korea's Agency for Defense Development ADD, is projected to complete its development phase by 2024, with mass production slated to begin in 2025. As it evolves, the LSAM system is expected to become fully operational across South Korea in the late 2020s. The ADD has also revealed its plans for future advancements in missile defense technology. They are currently developing the improved LSAM-2 and Cheonggung-3 indicating their commitment to enhancing South Korea's defense capabilities against evolving threats. With these advancements, South Korea is taking significant steps to bolster its national security and protect its citizens from potential ballistic missile threats. That concludes our top story for today. Stay tuned to Asia Military News for more updates on defense and security matters across the region. Thank you for watching.